Hello everybody. Uh, this is Gigi with Blue Heaven. I hope you guys are doing good today. I wanted to do a video because the video I did with Kim yesterday, a lot of you asked for part two and I know we didn't get to cover everything. It's a very interesting what happened with this uh, brother uh, in Christ. And I've been trying to get hold of her and I can't get hold of her. We were going to try to do a video today. Um, but so I wanted to give you a quick video, um, without her until I can get her just so I don't leave you all hanging. Um, so here's the thing. Um, and I also, yes, I have a five minute limit and in fact, I need to time it better. So 52. So, um, basically this brother in Christ would go to my channel and Kim's years ago <clears throat> and 2017, the revelation 12 sign was on September 23rd. Well, before that, I think a few months before that, I think in April, um, he had said to her, um, that the Revelation 12 sign was not going to be the rapture. And a lot of people thought it would be at the time. Um, and that we had some, a little more to endure. And that one of the last, what the last sign you'd see before he comes would be the Al-Aqsa mosque. You would see flames and smoke and fire. Um, in that area or in that, uh, at, at the mosque. Okay. Now, a lot of people are worried that, you know, it, the, the prophecies doesn't, is not fulfilling itself because the tree was on fire. But when you have a vision from God and you see a place and then you see smoke, your mind assumes, well, the place is on fire, but that's not necessarily what, what happens. He saw the smoke and fire and the mosque, not necessarily the mosque itself on fire. So for those of you who are worried about that, it doesn't, I asked her carefully, how did he word it? Um, so, um, this place was filled with blazing fire and smoke a few days ago. Okay. So the other thing is he said, um, she said, well, how long do you think we have? And what do you think? And he said, well, you know, I, I hate to tell you, but I think it could be three or four more years. And he actually felt like he wasn't supposed to tell me. Apparently he said to her, well, blue worries too much. So I'm not telling her, I'm telling you. And I thought that was even more, um, interestingly, uh, con confirming that he's hearing from God because I wouldn't have wanted to hear someone tell me three years ago or th four years ago, you have four years left. That's just not the way I, I can function like that because God called me to encourage people in the now and to watch for the Lord now and see what he's showing us now. So I would not have been able to, uh, stomach that one too well. And so he was right about that. And so he was right about the revelation 12 sign. He was right about here. We are three or four years later. Um, and then he said, you're going to see them. They're going to be coming after the children. That was the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's happening. I guess it was a couple days ago. The, I think the, they approved to give the evil shots to 12 year olds. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Um, there's nothing worse than that. Okay. This is one of the most evil things because it's silently killing people who don't realize what's in the shot. Okay. But the Bible says the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. And that's why you need the Holy Spirit. How do you get the Holy Spirit? Jesus Christ. How do you get Jesus?